Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Masi Chess Game from the history of chess from 1925 and this is also a pretty instructive, a pretty exciting chess game from the chess history. So in this chess game we have Albert Becker with the white pieces and his opponent is no other than the great Sigbert Tarash, one of the best chess players in his era and Albert Becker was the Austrian chess champion. So let's see what happened in this chess game. Albert Becker starts the game with pushing the d-pawn. We have d5, c4 by Albert Becker and this is the queen's gambit. c6, knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, e6, developing the knights and then exchanging, knight goes back and black is defending the pawn, pushing the pawn and attacking. Bishop to d6, queen to e2. Albert Becker played queen to e2, he was aware, he was aware of the threat, in this position, if capturing the pawn, can you see what happens, can you see the move for black? Then queen check, and where is the king queen? If pushing the pawn, then bishop takes on g3, if capturing the bishop, then queen takes rook, and that is losing for white. So this is why, in this position, queen to e2 was an important move. This was a sneaky move by Sigbert Tarash, as sneaky as a snake. E takes on f3, knight takes on f3, and black castled. Bishop to d2, developing the knight. Developing the bishop, queen up, castling from the queen side by Albert Becker. E5, d takes on e5, knight takes on e5 and it is white to move. This is one of the most exciting moments of this chess game. It is white to move and white played a cool move. White played rook takes on d6. What a shot by Albert Becker which came out of nowhere. Knight takes on f3 but in this position what happens if queen takes on d6 then bishop takes on e5. So white is getting uh, two pieces for the exchange, which is considered very good for white. So this is why rook takes on d6, but knight takes on f3. So if capturing the knight, capturing the rook. This is why we have c5 defending the rook, defending the knight, and the material is equal. But now white is checking the king, blocking with the bishop, and then queen to d4 by Albert Becker, so we can say that Albert Becker has a threat. He can actually push the pawn and after defending the knight, rook takes bishop is a possibility and if queen takes bishop then queen takes uh, on g7, that is going to be checkmate, so this is going to be uh, capturing the bishop is going to be an important deflection tactic after pushing the pawn after black defends the knight with playing knight to e4, of course black can never play knight to f7 because of the checkmate threat. So this is why Sigbert Tarash realized that there is dark clouds around the black king, so defending with the rook, rook to f7, pushing the pawn, defending the knight, the only safe spot, and then rook takes on e6 by Albert Becker. Queen takes on e6 and then pinning the queen, sorry. Skewer, this is skewer, there is rook, so this is attacking, and then Sigbert Tarash, he pressed the panic button, and he captured the bishop, knight takes on c3, b takes on c3, of course we can clearly see that uh, if capturing the queen immediately, impatiently, then black has this nasty check, a sneaky move by Sigbert Tarash, a sneaky threat by Tarash, as sneaky as a snake. So this is not looking very good for white actually, but white is going to capture the rook anyway. So the rook is pinned, but this is why in this position, b takes on c3 and then defending the queen and watch this move. Rook to f1 not rushing for capturing the rook. Albert Becker says there is enough time, there is no need to rush. King to h8 unpinning, Sigbert Tarash says stop torturing me. Bishop takes on f7, finally capturing the rook. Queen takes on f7 and then g4 by Albert Becker. If capturing the pawn, of course, uh, rook takes queen, so the pawn is pinned. 
Queen takes on a2, leaving the a pawn, but now rook takes on f5. Well, we can say that white's pawn structure is not looking good, but also uh, white pieces are very active. Queen goes back, and then queen to e5. Albert Becker he thought that this was actually winning for him if exchanging the queens, but Sigbert Taraj played queen to c4. If exchanging the queens, then rook takes on e5 and the rook is going to infiltrate. So Sigbert Taraj didn't want this, but he can also play, I believe, a rook to b8. And this is not losing on the spot for black. But I analyzed this chess game, of course, with the computer chess engine. And engine says, white is slightly better in this endgame. So, okay, let's see what happened. This is why not exchanging the queens because of the infiltration at the end of the day and that doesn't look very good. Uh, h5 by Albert Becker, who rook over and then h6. Threatening checkmate, so defending queen. Queen takes on g4 with capturing the pawn and then queen to d6. All these moves are very cool moves by Albert Becker, as cool as a cucumber. So we have rook to g8 in this position, white is threatening checkmate, queen or rook to f8, rook takes, rook takes or queen takes, depends on the position and then checkmate. So rook goes back, black has a back rank issue. If capturing the queen, by the way, then rook to f8 is going to be checkmate. There is no defense, so rook to g8 and then rook to f7 by Albert Becker, queen to g6. And now here comes check. Well, in this position, black can, by the way, black can check the king, but uh, finally, at the end of the day, white is going to save his king, and there is not going to be any more checks. So, queen to g6, and then capturing the pawn with check. Ooh, rook takes on g7, and now that was the only move. Queen check, rook back, queen check, rook back, rook to f8 by Albert Becker. Checkmate. This was checkmate, ladies and gentlemen. Sigbert Taraj got checkmated by the underdog. What a game. What an incredible checkmate. Albert Becker was the Australian chess champion, but he, he was not as famous as Sigbert Taraj. But Sigbert Taraj got checkmated. What an incredible, amazing checkmate by Albert Becker. What a beautiful chess game. A cool chess game by Albert Becker, as cool as a cucumber. So, thank you very much for watching. And we will check out more amazing historic chess games from the history of chess. And thank you very much again. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.